Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. In th this tutorial, we're going to create a file uploader to our restaurants app by using React Studio and Xano no code backend builder. So, this is our app. We've already created in the previous episodes. Let me just log into the app. And test into three. And there's a typo there. Logging. So this app is basically just a list of restaurants and by clicking the restaurant we see details of the restaurant and we want to add some reviews. And this is the review form I've created and this is how I did it in the studio. So I just created a new component and the uh, component has some fields here, name, title, review and obviously we're going to add a file uploader to this this form as well and it has a button which simply saves uh, data to the reviews data sheet and the mode is add because we're adding adding new new row to the data data sheet and in the data tab we have a two new two new re uh, data sheets we have restaurant reviews so this is the re uh, the data sheet we're going to use for pulling the reviews for certain restaurants so I've created this API endpoint to Xano which is called get reviews and then it has a restaurant ID as a parameter so this way uh, when we click uh, from the list a certain restaurant we save save the restaurant ID to the data slot and then basically what we do is we update this data sheet by using this variable here so it will it will call API review uh, get reviews slash the restaurant ID and it's automatically updated after that basically what it does it it just uh, pulls the new data for for this restaurant so now I, I've reloaded it and I have two new reviews for this restaurant uh, ID let's see what's the restaurant ID 16 this is just for demo purposes this this default value for in the data slot so that we get some data data to the data sheet and then I have a reviews what it, what this is this is only used for adding new reviews so it just basically downloads all the reviews and this is used only for as a scratch data sheet when we want to add a new review we use this this API and it already has the CRUD endpoints for adding 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 new rows and stuff like that so that's that's how it's done in the, in the studio side and let, let's see how it looks in the in the Xano. Uh, so let's find the get review, reviews. Here it is. So I've created input restaurant ID, then query all records uh, where the restaurant ID is restaurant ID, and uh, it also uh, uh, queries the user. So so basically what it does it it takes the user ID from the from the review item review row and then queries the username and email so we get that in the same same uh, same endpoint as well and in a database we have a reviews data uh, table here and this is how it looks there's a, when it's created user ID obviously the user who created the review and then the restaurant ID well the restaurant ID where it belongs and then review image and rating which we're not using the title that's what we have here but the endpoint that I've created uh, returns all this data plus the user data for showing the username in the in our app and in the in the in the app let's go to restaurant details I have uh, added this list here so this is the list containing all the reviews for this this uh, restaurant and at the end of the list we have uh, this component for adding new reviews and the restaurant uh, review list contains it's just a standard component with columns element and in the left side we have the review information and on the right side we have the the image for review and uh, this is just the image component for review image and uh, this is the component for uh, username, the title of the review, and the and the review text, and that's about it. But let's go to the main point, and uh, 
let's add the fire, uh, not fire, uh, the Xano file uploader plugin, which is automatically installed to your React Studio if you have the latest version. So what ca what I can do is just simply click the uh, drag it to the screen, and I can use the standard file uploader like this. So we have a couple settings here, API endpoint. So this has to match the endpoint we have in the uh, in the Xano backend. So let's go and see what is our what is our endpoint for for posting the or sending the file. Let's see, it's somewhere upload here. So here are two upload endpoints, and this is what we need. This is app upload slash restaurant review image. So we need to just copy this one and add that here and then the input uh, name uh, by default it's usually content but we can check it yeah it's content so we can just leave it as it is and uh, and then we probably want to when, when when the file is uploaded we want to save that uh, value back to the data slot so that we get the url for for the uploaded file and then we can send uh, save that to the data the database so i'll just click the when user edits value here for the file up uploader and then save this to well i've already created the data slot so data slot uploaded image so this is the data slot we're going to use when posting to to the backend and finally in the post uh, I've set all the fields that this text area review goes to review. Uh, this is the standard stuff, but then we need to select the data slot for uh, for the image image uh, in the in the data database or in the API. So review image uh, goes uh, the uh, this data slot uploaded image goes to review image uh, column in the data data sheet, and then we have add here. So basically now we're good to go and if I run this in the browser we should be able to upload images to, to the API and creating and also create the new, new reviews for, for the restaurants. So let's head to the login demo and go back to the restaurant list. Let's select Palace Helsinki and I can create Antti. Very good. This is awesome restaurant like this. And finally, just use the file uploader here. Choose file and uh, go to where's the downloads and upload the image. And then when we click post, we should be able, we'll see the the restaurant, the, the review added here and the image added here. And when we go back to the database, reviews, we should see the row here, like we actually see. Yes, here is our new review. That's about it. That's how that easy it is. And I will show you another cool feature. So if you don't want to use the standard kind of uh, file upload element here, this kind of gray thing here, you can actually add a button. So let's add a button. Let's add a button somewhere there. Change the color of the button and maybe use something like this. And then you can have interact and in element uh, perform action and uh, uh, select this uh, Xeno, Xeno file upload plugin and choose file. So what it does, it triggers this one actually triggers the, the file upload uh, window for, for user to choose the file and stuff. So you can basically basically just drag the uh, the upload file 
somewhere on the screen where it's not visible and then use your own button for triggering the, the file upload. And let's see how this looks and how it works. So now, now we have a button here and now we get the, the window for choosing the file. And uh, in this case, we could just maybe I could just this uh, put this in the foreground element group and drag it on the left side, so it would not be visible at all. And just generate the code again and see how it looks. It's important that you still have the Xeno file upload plugin on your component or screen, but you can just drag it somewhere where it's not visible anymore. So let's see how this looks. And again, yes, now we have this button here which triggers the thing. And uh, to make sure that the file, uh, the upload is actually working uh, or is finished, I mean, uh, we could add a, add a sort of a progress progress indicator on top of the top of the window. So let's add a key line. Uh, I'll put the key line in the middle and add that the progress indicator make it that and align it center to key line and now when you when you trigger the the upload this progress indicator comes up and uh, if you want to block other that user can't do anything before it's uploaded you can just select the block user input when visible for the progress indicator I think I forgot to do it so I can just redo it by selecting the the indicator and changing the setting here you can just block user in input when visible that's how you can block user for for clicking the submit button before the before the file is actually uploaded so let's just regenerate the code okay and uh, let's head to the palace helsinki and uh, again on the this was good some text and uh, let's select the same image again and now as you can see it's, it's it's uploading, it's visible, and now it's gone. And uh, and we have the uh, the reviews created. Uh, now you can see that the uh, the text here it it stays when you click the post. So I can post this many times and it's probably not the good user experience so maybe we'll add a we'll add a another interaction here so let's add a third one and i think it is it's under the component i guess and here's the clear input fields which does uh, what it does is basically what it do, does it just clears the all the input fields in the form so all the name and those and finally we should probably clear also the data slot for for the for the uploaded image but you can do it manually let's see how it looks now when we create a new review let's head to the another at palace helsinki we have a bunch of reviews let's add a test review again the same image and click post and now you can see that the screen was cleared here oh, the input fields were clear cleared here and uh, so that user can't accidentally accidentally uh, create the, uh, the duplicate duplicate reviews and finally we probably want to also have the validator so the validator does uh, I created the uh, our own video of that and you can find it from our medium post but anyway here's the validator and uh, and uh, you can choose which fields 
are mandatory and which which uh, data slots to validate or you can run your own scripts for it but basically what it does is that before you do any interaction for example the saving you would you would just uh, add a validate sorry it's in element here perform action and uh, validate and then you would do the save save data interaction to reviews and uh, select just uh, the field text area review restaurant id would be the data slot restaurant id and it's somewhere here title would be the field title review image well that's the data slot uploaded image user id well it's the user id and i think we have all there and then clear the input fields well that sounds 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 okay to me and now we can just rerun this and see if the validator works Helsinki. Now I'm trying to trying to post the uh, empty, which is not possible because the validator actually protects that. But I think we forgot to write anything to the validator, so I'll just add some text here. Please fill all fields. So this is the validator is sort of like a just a text element and by default default I want it to be hidden so it will be visible only when when it's triggered and the validation fails and again just generate the code again let's head to the palace Helsinki and I'll try to try to add a empty empty row and as you can see it shows me that please fill all fields so I'm not able to post post a review without all the uh, mandatory information so that's how you can create create uh, uh, form forms in the in the react studio and attach them to your channel backend endpoints and then also how you can use file uploader for file uh, uploading images onto your Xano backend. Thank you and uh, see you in the next episode.